Hearing from the mother of comedian Brandon Boogie B. Montrell, who was shot and killed by what police believe was a stray bullet just two days before Christmas. Yeah, it happened in a Rouse's parking lot. Montrell's mother spoke with Erica Ferrando today as she's trying to learn more about what happened that afternoon. Erica, what did she have to say when you spoke with her today? Well, Devin and Katie, I met with Montrell's mother, Sherilyn Price, in her Slidell home this afternoon. She said her son was funny and positive with great dance moves, which is why she said he became known as Boogie. But now she's dealing with grief like so many other mothers who have lost a son to gun violence in New Orleans. Arrests have been made and police say this investigation is ongoing, but still Price feels left in the dark. This is my favorite picture of Brandon. Comedian Brandon Montrell, better known as Boogie B, made fans laugh across the country with his TikTok videos and lessons in hood history. This New Orleans hood history on the black Santa, a.k.a. the chocolate Santa. His mother, Sherilyn Price, never thought he'd grow up to perform in front of an audience. No, he was a quiet child. We used to call him Grandpa. Price describes her son as a gentleman without an enemy in the world. To my knowledge, Brandon's never been in a fight. Living in California to live out his dream as a comedian, Montrell came home to New Orleans for Christmas, but was shot and killed by what police believe was a stray bullet in the downtown Rouse's parking lot December 23rd. According to an arrest warrant, 20-year-old Jabril Cowart shot at someone outside the grocery store, and that person shot back. Montrell was in a car parked directly between the two shooters. I can't even comprehend that he's gone. I can't comprehend how he's gone. January 5th, Cowart was arrested in Houston on a second-degree murder charge. The next day, 22-year-old Dominique Smith was arrested for accessory after the fact. Price said she found out through news articles and is desperately trying to learn more about where the investigation stands. NOPD never in, ignish, in, instigated contact to tell me, A, your son has been killed. B, this is what we're doing. A NOPD spokesperson said the NOPD homicide section has been in communication with the victim's mother. Price says she's also reached out to the district attorney's office. They legitimately did not know the status of the case. I'm baffled by that. District Attorney Jason Williams said in a statement, this is still a fluid, active and open investigation and we have not yet received the referral and case file from NOPD. I'd like for somebody to tell me the truth about what has happened from the beginning to where we are now. As she hopes for justice for her son, she wants to see real solutions so other mothers won't feel her pain of losing a son. It's bad enough that this situation exists at all that the city has been so horribly inadequate at bringing this gun violence to a halt. In his statement, District Attorney Jason Williams said he plans to sit and speak with Price as soon as he receives the complete file from NOPD. He also said he's working to have the suspect extradited from Texas to Louisiana.